The majority sons and daughters of Bamendakwe and their friends are witnessing this display of the custom and tradition of the Bamendakwe people for the first time. It's a unique occasion for anybody who was born maybe even in the 20s. This one we know I first get and I one when we start. But we like I'm happy and have a privilege to witness this occasion. We come there in a safe This is a great, great occasion of a lifetime. This ceremony is known as Nikwe. It is a traditional festival of double importance. First, it is the official morning of Fon Fortress II, who ruled the Bamendanque people between 1932 and 1989 and the commemoration of the attainment of maturity of the current phone, meaning that a city phone can only organize the nikwe of his father when one of his sons, born on the leopard skin, attains maturity, that is, between the ages of 12 and 15. With over 10 phones from some fandoms in the Northwest region and administrative authorities in attendance, from Fortesiri III, the city phone of Bamendankwe called on the inhabitants of Bamendankwe as well as sons and daughters abroad to rise above political party colors for the best interest of the village. Each and every one in Bamendankwe matters, the voice of each and every one matters. And we understand the role the diaspora has in the development of every community. And that is why we are bringing it back through this cultural manifestation. Since as said, it's a common fire. When it comes to culture, we don't have to think of whether you are CVDM, you are SDF or whatsoever. Culture is a common fire. With a rich forest reserve, the Bamedanque man is noted for producing charcoal. With its rich agricultural and touristic potentials, this Nikwe is expected to mark a turning point between Bamedanque and its neighbors in general, and between sons and daughters in particular. <laughs>